Omar Samad is a former Afghan ambassador to Canada, France, and Belgium. He joins us now from Washington, D.C. Mr. Ambassador, good to see you again. Um, so sad to say, ceasefires have gone awry in the past and people have died. Should ordinary Afghans feel hopeful about this one? Well, uh, any type of cessation of fire uh, in conflict, whether, even if it's one day in Afghanistan, um, is welcomed by people. Uh, in this case, it's a three-day ceasefire that was first initially announced by the Taliban and then welcomed by the government. Uh, I think that this is a sigh of relief for many who have witnessed a very bloody month of Ramadan in Afghanistan. As we all know, the news was very bad. On all sides, we've had losses, civilians, soldiers, police, spiders. Um, uh, and I think that this is uh, a time to look forward now with the new reconciliation council that has been announced just a few days ago. The fact that the Americans have uh, again are pushing for the peace process to move forward. Uh, I think that there is a bit of momentum and a bit of hope that this could uh, be maintained and maybe even expanded. Well, the U.S. Special Representative Zalmay Khalilzad has tweeted, quote, this is a momentous opportunity that should not be missed. Uh, do you have confidence that it will hold throughout Eid? Well, in this case, it takes two sides uh, to um, make it happen. Uh, obviously, you have the Taliban who decided that this would only last three days, but there's a demand, there's a request, there's a push uh, by all uh, participants, I think all stakeholders uh, in, inside Afghanistan as well, as well as outside Afghanistan, that the ceasefire should gradually or immediately expand and become more durable and more sustainable, or at least we should have a reduction in violence that all sides can agree to, which could then probably help with the process of releasing those prisoners uh, who are deemed as not being dangerous and who could fulfill that request that the Taliban have, and then open the doors to intra-Afghan talks, which is actually, at this point, I think, the, the goal that the main stakeholders, especially the Americans, have in mind. Um, you have extensive experience in Afghan affairs. Um, what are the main factors preventing a final peace deal from happening soon? Well, let me say this. Number one risk right now, even during the next three days, are spoilers, are those individuals, groups, terrorist organizations who think that uh, the ceasefire is an occasion for them to spoil the occasion and take advantage of it and, uh, and maybe reduce the level of confidence and trust that others want to build. So that is the number one risk, spoilers. Number two, obviously, uh, is the political agenda, what drives peace and what drives war. And I think that it's very important for all sides to realize that with the new council in place, with Dr. Abdullah at its head, and uh, there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done in order to create consensus within Afghanistan for peace, and as well as consensus in the region and beyond, and make sure that it moves toward all those different benchmarks, especially intra-Afghan talks that are credible and that can lead to a solution for Afghanistan. What drives war? Important points indeed, um, Ambassador. Umar Samad, we appreciate you speak, taking time to speak with us here on TRT World. Thanks again.